If you're looking for a cute, flirty summer dress, I have the pattern for you. Plus, it's free. Hi, my name is Sarah, and my channel is Naughty Gnome Crafts. My channel is all about sewing and styling a handmade wardrobe. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Vicky Sews Milana dress, and this is in collaboration with Renata from The Twilight Stitcher. I first became familiar with Renata because she has hosted the Red Little Red Dress Project in December for the past several years. Renata is such a wonderful Instagrammer and YouTuber. She always takes the most beautiful photographs, and I just have a lot of admiration for her style. It's very feminine, and she often uses a lot of beautiful prints. And when she asked me to do a collab, I very happily agreed. So we decided to do the Milana dress. Normally to start off my reviews, I would read you the pattern description, but unfortunately I can't do that this time because my internet is not working right now. But I did look it up on my phone and the description is quite long and detailed. So I'm going to put the link in the description box so you can check it out. It's a very, very detailed description of the dress. And it comes in sizes 34 to 52. And Vicky Sews has different height brackets. So there's four different height brackets that you can choose from. So you can get approximate both your size and your height. And I find that to be very, very helpful. Now I chose the size 36 with the shortest height bracket. Now that height bracket is slightly taller than I am, but the proportions were actually pretty spot on. And so I was very pleased with the fit of it um, based on my four foot nine frame. The fabric that I chose is a Robert Kaufman Brussels washer linen that I got from fabric.com. It's a linen rayon blend and I chose this fiery orange color. Now initially I had wanted to pick out like this really deep ocean blue color, but unfortunately when I went to place my order they were out of stock in that fabric and so I replaced it with this um, bright orange. The dress is also fully lined, so I ended up using some red cotton voile that was left over from another project, and I just barely had enough to do the lining. I actually ended up having to shorten the skirt pattern for the lining by a couple of inches, maybe just like an inch and a half or something, in order to fit the pieces on my fabric. Now the reason that I chose a solid for this dress is because with the flounce, you will occasionally see the wrong side of the fabric. And for that reason, I didn't want to choose a print that might flip up and you would see the back side. I could have chosen a double-sided print, but I just decided to go for a solid. I felt like the design lines of the pattern were bold enough on their own that I didn't really need to use a busy print. As I said, this bright orange was definitely not my first choice for color, but I've been trying to expand more and wear some brighter um, colors, things that I wouldn't normally wear. And I do really like how this is more of a reddish orange tone um, as opposed to a yellowish orange. And so I do really like the way that it looks. It's certainly very unusual and different than anything else that I have in my wardrobe right now. Now let's talk about the instructions. The instructions for this pattern are incredibly thorough and detailed, maybe a little bit too thorough for my taste. I don't print out my instructions, I just read them off of my laptop or my iPad, but if you do want to print the instructions, just be informed that they are very, very long and extensive and many, many pages because the pattern goes into a lot of detail. It's actually a little bit astounding to me that this is a free pattern because it is fully lined. It also has some seams that are bound and it's just, it's a very, very involved pattern and it's just unusual to see a free pattern that offers so much detail. Now I'm pretty sure the reason that the pattern indicates that you should fully line the garment and bind some of the seams is because in the pattern sample it's made out of a embroidery anglaise fabric which is holy so you can kind of see through the outer fabric and I think that's why they tell you to bind some of the seams so that it looks really neat and clean with those holes. Because I was using a solid fabric I personally found that to be a bit of overkill so I mostly just lined the garment and then surged the uh, the seams because they're not going to be seen on the inside. The only binding that I did was on the armholes as indicated and I did use a contrast quilting cotton for my binding. So this is what the dress looks like inside out. It's very very cleanly finished. I think that I might have changed a few things because by I, the time I got to the end of the pattern I was kind of over reading the instructions so I did kind of go off book a little bit. Like I, I'm pretty sure that they might tell you to hand stitch the the bodice lining to the skirt and I'm pretty sure I just stitched in the ditch. Um, little things like that and as I said because I didn't have enough fabric my lining is a little bit shorter than the um, than it's supposed to be but it worked out perfectly well and this red cotton wall works perfectly as a lining. It's very lightweight and easy to wear. If you're enjoying this review so far I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up because it helps more people find my channel. 
Thank you so much for helping my channel grow. And if you're, this is your first time watching my video, thanks so much for stopping by. And if you're coming back, thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. So I found that I did not need to make a lot of changes to this dress. I did do a muslin for the bodice only just to check the fit before I made my entire garment. And I found that the bodice actually fit me surprisingly well. I think that the combination of the sizing and the height bracket really made a difference in terms of like having the fit be pretty good from the beginning. The only change that I made um, fit wise was I did do a very slight small bust adjustment. I only did a three quarter inch small bust adjustment. And the reason that I did that is because I knew that with being backless, I would not be able to wear a bra. So I needed to do just a slight small bust adjustment to make it fit me a little bit better and I think that the fit is really really good. I'm so impressed with Vicky So's drafting and I think that it's excellent. I also really like that this free pattern has encouraged me to maybe try out some of their other patterns because I think, do find the sizing to be really good. I have sewn one Vicky So's pattern in the past but it was for a knit tank top which doesn't really require a lot of fitting. That also fits me really well but just having sewn this woven garment now um, I'm definitely very encouraged by the fit and the drafting for Vicky So's. The other Another change that I made was purely for logistical reasons. So the pattern tells you to do quite a bit of top stitching in order to like hold this ruffle down. And I didn't do that. I just skipped that part. I, I understitched instead because I don't sew with orange very much. And so I didn't have a lot of orange thread. And I actually ran out of the orange thread that I had like very early on in the garment. So I was using red thread to sew my fabric and I didn't want that uh, contrasting thread to show and so I just skipped the top stitching so that I could be lazy and I didn't have to go to Joann's and buy a new spool of orange thread. Other than that I pretty much just sewed it up as directed. Now would I make this design again? No I wouldn't but only because I feel like it's really unique and interesting and I only need one of them in my closet but I do really like the way that it looks. I think it's such a fun flirty summer dress to wear. I do have a warning though that if you are curvy, it's probably a good idea to put in a side zip. Now the back is held together with this elastic and it's only in the back. And this dress is actually relatively difficult for me to get it on and off. I can't step into it. it. The waist will not pull up over my hips. I have to put it on over my shoulders. And I am actually pretty straight up and down. I'm not at curvy at all. So I would imagine if you have a bigger waist to hip ratio, I would really, really recommend putting in that side zip because otherwise I think you're going to have a hard time getting in and out of the dress. So I would absolutely recommend this pattern. It's free. It's an amazing design, but because it is so involved with all of the lining and all of the special techniques, I probably wouldn't recommend it to an absolute beginner, but I do think that it's a really interesting pattern and definitely check it out if you like that design. Now I was slightly worried about the styling of this dress because the back is simply held together with the ties. There's no fastenings. And when I tried to tie it into a bow in the back, just the way that it's styled on the pattern cover, I could not get it by myself to look right. It was just a little bit floppy and you know, I had a really hard time trying to tie it into a bow really neatly. I did ask my husband if he would help me and he just looked like deer in headlights and I was like, okay, that's not going to work. So um, I decided to kind of play around with the ties and see if I could come up with a way to get it to be really secure but also look cute. So what I settled upon was I actually ended up crisscrossing the ties in the back and then bringing them around to the front and tying it into like a little sash in the front. And I actually think that looks really cute and it's nice and stable so you don't have to worry about being out and about and all of a sudden like your bow comes undone because that would be an absolute disaster because the the bodice of the dress would just fall open if the tie isn't keeping it closed so i think that is definitely something to keep in mind with this dress that it does have potential for a wardrobe malfunction and as i said because it's backless and the way that the design of it i don't think that you could wear a bra with it at all not even a strapless bra um, so yeah, making sure that that tie stays nice and secure is a very, very important step. Now, a lot of you may not be interested in this, but I thought I would just share a little bit of info about when I actually wore this dress. So I made it for my birthday. My husband um, took me for a night out and it was really, really fun without the dogs. Um, so we actually went to uh, the downtown area of my city and we went out to a really fancy dinner. And to that dinner, I actually wore my white vintage simplicity slip dress that I made in my collab with Andra of Andra Makes and it was the perfect dress for dinner. Um, it just it 
fit in really well with the atmosphere and I was very fortunate that I didn't spill on it and the straps didn't break or anything. So it was a wonderful dress to wear to dinner. And then um, we went back to the hotel for a few hours. My husband had actually um, got us a hotel room so that we wouldn't have to worry about driving home. So we stayed in the hotel for a few hours and then um, in the evening we went out to a bar. And so I wore my Milana dress when we went out and um, it was really perfect for that. It was a beautiful night and it was really nice outside and in the city when we were walking around there was actually an outdoor concert going on and so we just went to a local park that had like this beautiful fountain and just kind of hung out in the park and listened to the music so it was the absolute perfect date night dress it's one, one of the best birthdays that i've had in a really long time so i really enjoyed wearing this dress and i feel like the memories of like when I wear this again, they're just gonna come flooding back and it was such a positive experience that I love how my dress turned out. I loved how I looked in it and I am so happy that I made this dress. So thank you to Renata for doing this collab with me. I hope that you love your dress as much as I love mine. And I'm going to link to Renata's review video on the end screen. So in case you haven't seen it, make sure you go check out her dress. Thank you so much for watching my review. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you again next time.